Okay, so we've got creative, and uh, you mentioned the fact that we need you need to plug humans into the process and into the system because uh, generative AI really. I you know, I remember I plugged in a question about you know who was the scientist that got ideas by dropping a ball while I'm about to go to sleep. Um, Chat GPT got it wrong. I got Buckminster Fuller, and instead it was actually Edison. So I we're gonna we're gonna verify, and I believe. So this is gets where it gets really interesting. So. Uh, humans aren't perfect, but they're scaled by machines. So tell us how the, how the process works in terms of where's the human involved in this as opposed to the machine, and I'd be interested in that. Right. So we have this thing called a, a – we have a generation tool that uses these different, different tools to generate creative, and then we have an approval workflow tool for our customers. So we deliver all the creative on this – really easy to use Canvas where the customer comes in or multiple contacts from the customer come in there, they review, they can annotate directly on the creatives themselves for changes. So this is one level of approval, but OmniKey has a human as well, a customer success person that helps manage the account that goes back and makes sure all this information is accurate. Um, so there's like two levels. So OmniKey has a level of human overview and then the customer also, bef- customer also has to review everything before it goes live. Right. Okay. So in other words, they can check the facts going, uh, well, what's this bad out about our company is actually true. It doesn't get to the essence, whatever it is, whether it's persona or whatever. But so the human gets involved making sure as a final check and also in the process to make sure it's uh, accurate as possible. Yes. And that's a definite necessity today. And, you know, I, I was thinking, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. It's pretty scary for younger people in the world right now, right? I mean, they had Google search a couple of years ago. We were able to find information. When we were like, when I was younger, we would read and we'd have to go write it down and then use a computer kind of, but I had to actually go learn everything. So it's kind of scary, like how information can get potentially misstrewed right now with people just using these tools and then believing what they are. 